Monster just developed some cool tech. Holographic images showing on the on your door and whatever the projector can point them and having sensors that can sense either you're wanting the wind to go up or you wanting the temperature to go down. This is some cool tech and I'm sure it'll be on luxury cars before it comes in an everyday car. Now a lot of stuff is going on in Las Vegas today. I mean people are just coming down onto the uh, the Motor City. Not the Motor City but the city in the desert, Vegas, uh, to show off the latest technology. Nissan, uh, Ford, uh, Stellantis, all of them are there. All the automotive giants to show off the recent technology. But just recently, uh, Carbo has discovered that the patent office uh, and trademark office has this unique invention replacing uh, physical controls but make it into a virtual world. It makes a lot of sense with this new megaverse or, you know, Facebook changing his name and all of this other stuff. This new technology is coming and um, like it or not, here it comes. This is cool. You have 65 degrees Fahrenheit, the temperature right on the side of the door. And this is basically a schematic of it showing how, how it's going to work. Now, a computer includes a processor and a memory and a memory storing instructions uh, to ever the, to process and project this, these icons onto the surface and being able to, you know, being able to project a pattern onto the surface and capture an image of the icon in a pattern. An identity and uh, the change between the pattern and the image in a default pattern. And that identity, the user input based on the change from the default pattern, actuate a, a component based on the, uh, the user input. So basically when you touch that button, basically when you touch that holographic image, and when that image is blocked, a certain action takes place, such as the temperature going up or the window going down. This is some cool technology, folks. Real cool. Let's look into to how it works. And as you see, the image being projected there. Uh, really, really nice. Now, a computer includes a processor and a memory. And the memory storing instructions uh, executable by the processor to project an icon onto the surface and boom you mess up that surface or you change it and then that input brings about an action in the computer either raises the temperature or lower the temperature or raise the windows or bring down the wind or raise the windows or bring them down this is pretty cool and this is um technology by Mazda. You think before it would come to a company like Mazda that it would come to uh, a company that was a more expensive. Uh, but Mazda is nice. And I always, always liked Mazda. And never bought one, but I've always known them to be quite nice cars. So basically there's sensors that can detect the direction in which the input is applied. And the patent claims that the surface will be able to detect the force with which the user applies. So there would have to be sensors inside of the, inside of the, um, the door molding, which here you really don't see. As we take a look at this, we see just the projectors, but we don't see the sensors inside the door. Uh, 220 to 215 to 10, um, 215, which is going right here to the door molding and 300 is going here. And 200 being, uh, looks like it would be the glass. 
And let's look, see this is where the projector is. And this is the processor. And this is the door, uh, the door molding. Perhaps there's sensors in here. You know, no buttons, but there's sensors. I think this is a little too much. Tell me, tell me guys what you guys think of this technology. Do you think this is doable technology? Do you think this is something that you would want in a car? Do you think it's something that you would not? This is the Automotive Reviews, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. And have a fantastic day. This is the Automotive Reviews. Thanks for watching, sharing, and subscribing. And have an awesome and fantastic day. Much love. And again, thanks for coming by.